Hiya folks, and welcome back to Fishing With Den. Now, if you've been watching the channel regularly, you'll know that I make up my own ground bait from breadcrumbs, and I crush up some chicken layer pellets, mix them all together to make the base mix. And then I use turmeric, which is an Indian spice, to, to give it some flavor and some taste. And that's worked really well for me over the years, so I kind of just left it at that, um, thinking to myself, well, if it ain't broke, why fix it? But Quite a few of you have actually asked over the time, um, have I tried other things? So I thought, well, no. So of course, what I'm going to do on this one is, in fact, I'm going to do a series on this. Um, I'm going to do a series on different Indian spices to use. And today we're using chilli, which is why it's red or redder. And the chilli I've bought is, I bought it from the local Indian Emporium. And it is the absolutely hottest chilli you can imagine. Um, and I know because I wet my finger, dipped it in the thing and then put it on my tongue and then rushed straight down to the kitchen, washed my mouth out and <laughs> thought better of it. And the other thing to be aware of with this chilli stuff is don't get any on your hands and put your hands anywhere near your eyes because that stings too. So anyway, chilli is the go today. Um, that's what we're going to try. And as I say, over the next few months, I'm going to try all sorts of different spices, but we'll get to them eventually. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fish pretty much as I normally would when I'm using turmeric. I've got some sweet corn as bait, as you can see. I've also actually put some sweet corn into this tub with some chilli overnight. Don't know if that will work or not, but it's worth a go. And I've also got the usual uh, pellets, but this time with the, the chilli on them. So everything's chilli, 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 but I'm going to fish exactly the same as I normally would as if I was fishing with turmeric. So, uh, I think that's more or less it on the bait side. It's fairly straightforward and simple. I mean, part of the reason for doing this, of course, is obviously you asked, but also just to see if I get better results with different flavors. Because of course, if I do, that'll mean I'll win more matches and catch more fish on pleasure days. Anyway, so tackle wise then, using a pole, it's uh, top two plus three. I've just plumbed the depth out there. I've got a flat spot. That's where I'm going to fish. It's probably, what's that? About going on six feet deep, which is quite a reasonable depth. Um, I've got a uh, Guru drag line, six pound is the main line, which is 025. I've got an 022, I think it is, matrix. Look at that. You can be so careful with that, guys. <laughs> um, always have some water to dip your hand in, by the way. Uh, sorry, I was saying I've got a, a 025 main line, uh, 022 bottom, size 12, Kamasan B911 hook. That's the main line. Not going to go mad today. I'm going to fish a swim just down in the margins here and a similar one in the margins down there. And that is that deep. This one's got eight pound main line and six pound bottom to a size 10 Kamasan B911. Really straightforward stuff. Okay, well, here we go then. I'm going to pot the smallest ball of ground bait, a few pellets in, and just one or two of these turmeric spiced things. I'm just looking at the way this is, I'm really not sure about doing that. Uh, I may just uh, ditch those already because I really don't want to get chilly in my eye. I'll uh, replenish that in a second, but let's get this out there. As I say, I'm just fishing a top two plus three. Uh, if I fish just about there, got a tree to line up against, put that in. I'm going to feed straight away. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning already because it's, uh, as you can see, by the way, got shorts on. Um, that's the first. It is starting to get a bit warmer, but it's still a bit cold in the water. So here we go then, there's a ball for down to the right. Luckily, I've got some willow, not willows, what am I talking about willows? I've got some reeds down to my right at exactly just about a top two plus three. And normally, obviously, you'd do this if it was a match, you'd do this later on, but it's a pleasure day, so I'm just gonna get on with it. One down there, and then, whoops. Another ball. Just 
onto the left swim. And just about there. There's a lot of debris from the floods down at the edge. You may or may not be able to see it on the camera, but uh, trust me, it's definitely there. So there's a lot more sunken debris right in the edge, so I don't really want to go too far in. But that's it. I'll uh, wait to see how things develop. And uh, as soon as we get bites, we'll get back to you. I've been fishing for three or four minutes, but it just occurred to me, I forgot to mention, that I've also made up a bit of this uh, chili paste. See how that goes on the hook. I don't normally do that with the turmeric one. I tend to do that with the, those uh, durable pellets that I make up with the, the turmeric, but hey, if the paste goes on the hook and stays on the hook, it'll do the same job. And I've also been trying to get this red stuff off my hands, but as you can see, it's actually very staining. No bites yet, but as I say, we're only probably three, four minutes in. Well, 15 minutes in and uh, still no bites. Could be just that the weather's warming up. It could also be that the bait is absolutely rubbish, um, or it could just be me. But we'll see how we go. I've uh, just been putting a little sprinkling of uh, pellets in every now and then, just like that. And the same down at the sides. I'm not actually trying to fish with the, um, the sweet corn as, as a sort of an attractant because I don't want to be sort of trying to decide whether it was the sweet corn that brought them in or whether it was the chilli. So I'm using the sweet corn on the hook, feeding an odd little piece of sweet corn, obviously just to get them aware of the stuff. But uh, yeah, nothing so far anyway. Hmm. <laughs> Three quarters of an hour in and haven't had a bite, haven't had a sign, haven't had anything. Been trickle feeding the pellets in, like I said. Um, just one or two bits of corn, so as I say, not to uh, sort of skew the results by you know, potentially getting them feeding on corn and not the chilli. But um, yeah, not much happening, so I'm going to just put another ball into each of the three swims, ball of ground bait in, and just see how we go from there, and then I should probably have a cup of tea. As you can see, I'm fish fishing with the two bits of corn on the hook. It's not making a blind bit of difference at this point in time. Right, so, a little bit of pellets, smallish ball of ground bait. The good news about fishing only sort of a top two plus three is it's easy fishing. And the even better news is that the left and right hand inside swims are also at top two plus three, as I mentioned before. So, get these in and we'll have that cup of tea. It's actually quite deep at the side, but as I say, I've got to be a bit careful because I've got all these sticks that are right in the edge from when the flood came down that time. ground bait, although it's red, it's not really making my hands as red as that um, <laughs> sweet corn that I tried to dye did. Um, I think we'll definitely give that one away. The trouble with fishing to the left when you're left handed at the pole is it's awkward and I've also got the camera right on the tripod just behind so if I do that I'm liable to knock you over. So, <laughs> let's get a bite first, then. Worry about that later. Right, cup of tea. Let's put a few pellets out there. There we go. 
Might as well put a few down the margins as well. Oops, put that into the weeds. That'll do. A few down that way. Let's hope they turn up. Well, there may be one or two fish down there, but if they are, they're certainly not going to be feeding on mine bait anytime soon. So the plan, oh, bait's come off on this one, but the plan is to put a ball of ground bait out on the outside line. And I'm also going to put one down to the right there, put a little bit of corn in this time. And I'm going to fish down that margin line down there. They've had just over an hour and a half or so to get down there. So we'll give it a go, see what happens. Got to catch something for the video, haven't I? And in the meantime, while I'm doing that, hopefully catching a few, this one will switch on. Just a few pellets. A little bit of corn again. I've got a fairly small ball of ground bait on this one. There we are, look. I'm not going to feed anything just before I go in down there. Just want to see if there's anything turned up first of all. There we go. Okay. To get the rig, which is falling off me side tray. Oh. Right, as I say, two and a half feet deep, it's not too bad. I'm going to put the corn on it because I want to catch a fish. <laughs> Let's see how we go. I will try the um, paste at some point down there, but just to start off with, we'll go down. Now remember, if I do catch one, I can't put sections on down this side because if I do, I'll catch you with the pole. So we're going to have to hook them and hold them and see what happens. Okay. And there's nothing down there either. <laughs> Not a twitch. So I'm going to give the right hand side swim, just a bit of a quick go, just in case, you never know. And uh, then we'll go back out into the outside swim out there. I'll feed that one before I do that. And then we'll just live in hope. Oh, I think I've got a bite. Yay! <laughs> well, who'd have thunk it, eh? And the phone goes. Just what I need. <laughs> At least it's stopped. I tell you what, this videoing, fishing trips is not easy sometimes. actually a big fish but it is a fish come on at least there was one down there be careful with all these sticks down here there we are all right well he's not a huge fish is he but he's probably I don't know, two and a half, three pounds, I suppose. And he's kind of swallowed it, although I should be able to get the hook out. There we are. So there it is. Quite thick fish. On reflection, let's go with two and a half to two. <laughs> but it's a fish. Right, see who was on the phone, and uh, we'll get back to you. Well, I checked who was on the phone. Turns out it was my wife. Didn't actually want me. She just phoned me by mistake. <laughs> Things I have to put up with from wives, eh? 
Nah, she's a good one. Right, okay, let's get a little bit of baiting down to the left. And I'm gonna give the right hand one another try, just to see how that goes. Maybe I've gotta get bait in there, and uh, that'll do it. But at the moment, I think the whole thing is a bit slow. Need to be careful, I don't catch you again. Right. And of course, I'd got the zoom camera down there, facing that way still, thinking I wasn't gonna get a bite down there. So I will change that around before I do the next one. And uh, we'll give it a quick go. Same two bits of corn. And bear with me a sec while I change the camera around. All right, well, I'm hoping I've got that camera set up to the right now. And with a bit of luck, let's see if we'll get a, a bite. Oh, I'm sure that was a bite straight away. <laughs> this is, oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, don't go down the bank. Come on, get out of there. Too many snags down there. He's heading for the bank constantly. Come on, fish. Whoa. There must be a few fish down there. Gee whiz. That's a big fish. Well, I say a big fish, it's a fast fish. Oof. <coughs> <Whew. laughs> Didn't just go to show the way. You've got to put the bait in the right place to actually catch something. Now there's a great big log just under the water down there. I can see a big branch sticking out. I've got to be careful of that. Right. Where are you, fish? I don't think he's done yet, though. He's kind of on a bit of a poodle around down in front of me. He's not massive, but didn't he go? That's the thing with having cameras all over the place. There's another one just down here, which you may or may not see today. I'm still testing that one out. And a few issues with different things on it so it's like a backup today if you get the footage from that one that's a bonus come on get out of the way of that log come on get out of it what on earth i haven't even seen it yet definitely a carp Oh, and that log, he's not massive. <laughs> but didn't he go? Oh, in case you're wondering, this is the 22 slick elastic, so plenty of strength in it. All right, we need to be a bit careful that we don't overstress the pole. I'm quite high up here. Caught on a branch down there for a second. And, oh yeah. Well, he'll do. Short fat fish, but nicely hooked in the lip. Let's take that out a second. Hook it into this EVA. If I can, thumb won't work. There we are. Not as big as I first thought, but didn't he go well? <laughs> didn't he go well? Well, at least that's two. I just put a few pellets down there again. Hopefully we've got that bite on the camcorder down there. Just one or two bits of corn. And we'll go out with two more on the hook. Let's see what happens. For a while there, I didn't think I was going to catch anything, guys. Okay, let's get back out there. Literally last time I just put it in 
and it pretty much went under. Oh, and again. <laughs> well, not so big this time. But it does go to show that the um, chili powder stuff does work. Well, to some extent anyway. I'm not exactly sure yet how well, but well enough for now. <laughs> What's going on, Den? What's going on? Okay. He's not big. Pound or so. There we go. Three. Isn't that amazing? No bites anywhere. And then three in five minutes just in that one swim. I'll give it a rest after this, but we'll see how this goes. In and last time it was literally no sooner in than gone again. Well, that's taken longer already than the last two or three. I'm not sure I'm actually in the right place. Let's just go a little bit further out and sorry, further back along. No, not this time. So yeah, I mean, we've had three out of there. I'm probably pushing it a bit, but I just wanted to catch a few fish. I'll refeed that in a minute or two. But I think in the meantime, I'm just going to have a quick go down to the left just to see if there's anything down there. Oh, just had a bite. And yay, in again. He's off. Oof. Where's he off to? Come on, Dent. Yay. Slightly bigger than the last one, I think. I really must pull that log out that's under there. It's about, the tip of it's about three inches under the surface, but it's about like my arm sticking up like that. It's gonna be a real issue at some point. Be careful of me audio. Better not catch on that. Get away from it. Get away from it. Oof. I'm not having to pull any pull any in with the puller, am I? quite high up here actually. You can probably gather from the amount of landing it handle I got left. Get away from that. Right, I think he's uh, starting to tire out a bit. Good stuff this slick elastic. I've uh, gone over to it in the last year or two. I was a bit concerned at first with the cost of it and the short amount that you get but it does actually last a long time. So, quite pleased about that. Come on, fish. There we are. Oh, long way down. Swallowed it again, but I can get it out with my thumb, I think. There we go. And again, not massive, probably, I don't know, four or five pounds, I suppose, but a little bit pregnant too. Oh. Right, we'll have a quick go down left. Okay. I'll just uh, put a bit more pellet down on that side. Didn't quite get that far enough, but there we go. That's better. I'm not going to turn that uh, camcorder around again because it's going to get too much aggravation to 
keep doing that if I'm not going to get a bite down here. But we'll give this a go anyway. All being well, you might just pick it up on that camera there if I can get any footage out of it. No, nothing yet. I mean, it's only been in a few seconds, but as you saw, down on that side down there, that few seconds, and it was uh, gone. Mm, no, nothing going on down there. So what I'm going to do then is I'll refeed both of these side swims with a bit of ground bait, a few pellets, just one or two bits of corn. And then we'll have another go out on the further outline there, see what happens there. Right, let's get back out there then with the main line of attack. I say main line, it's not proving that way today, is it? We'll go to the same old two bits of corn. Some of this corn's really hard actually, I'm surprised. So much for the sun today, it's supposed to be 24, but I don't think it is. Let's see how we go with that. I'll move the camcorder around if I get a bite on it, I think, this one. It just takes so long to mess around trying to get the shot right. I'd be there all day doing it. Put my glasses back on. Well, they've turned up down there as well. That was pretty instant, wasn't it? I'm glad I left it to uh, settle for a bit. I don't think it's very big. Strange. This is only a 14 slick elastic, so obviously we're going to have to strip some back in this time. Pretty sure it's a carp, but you never know with these things. Could be an eel, you know. <laughs> never, never know. Oh, he's taken off, but I let him have some line. Can't bully him so much on the 14 elastic, can you? All right, where are you, fish? I'd jump in and remove that uh, log down there, but it's actually quite a soggy bottom and you tend to sink. Should do it. Come on, fish. Doesn't want to know, does he? Come on! Oh, it's going for that log. Oops. Okay. Come on. Right, I think he's ready. No, he's not. <laughs> there we are. Reasonable fish again. Certainly give you a good weight on her. Much. Yeah. Again, probably close to five. Oops. I 
Oops, make sure I don't hit the tripod. Come on, fish. <sighs> Try not to get my legs wet, but never mind. <laughs> okay, let's uh, see if we can get this hook out. It actually doubled over inside his mouth somehow. How he's managed that, I don't know. Right, I don't know, what's that, about six? Well, thank God for that, eh? <laughs> Hello, how you doing mate? Good. Have you got your rod? Yep. Okay, do you know what to do? Um, yeah, I haven't got any um, hook attached to this line. That's alright, I can show you that in a bit. Thanks. Um, do you know, tell you what, let me just, GoPro, stop recording. Bear with me folks, young fellow's just come down, he needs a bit of help with uh, getting set up, so. We'll stop fishing for a short while, give him a bit of a hand, and then we'll get back to it. Got to encourage the youth. Back in a sec, guys. Okay, well, that's the young fella sorted out. He's, uh, he's all set up. It's a rod and reel I gave him. I think it was last week, actually. He's come down, and uh, he's very keen. He's got the general idea. Needs a bit of assistance, but... Hopefully, he'll catch something down there. Right, where were we? Apparently it's uh, school holidays at the moment, so that's why uh, the school behind me is uh, so quiet today. Get a few bits of uh, pellets out there again. They do seem to like the ground bait though, don't they? I've uh, been putting it down the sides there and the pellets as well, and certainly down there. They're wolfing that up. I'll keep just getting some bait in down there, I think. Not sure what's going on with that side. I very often catch something down there, but not today. Give them a few bits of corn too. Well, <laughs> been sitting here for a minute or two waiting for a bite, but um, <sighs> maybe I've got to get more ground bait out there. It's funny, isn't it, how I got that one bite there and now just nothing again. I think on that one I'm just going to put a ball out by hand, not a match or anything. Right. I have to admit, I'm looking forward to going back down to the sides again now. Hopefully I can start to catch on both sides. And uh, if so, that'll mean that we're uh, going to have a good day. Well, I have to admit that the further outline there, it's, it's not really producing. I'm going to put another couple of balls in down there and I'm going to have some fun Oops. down at the side. I've got these oh, top twos. I've moved them off to the further down the bank so that the young fellow doesn't come along and stand on them. They get a bit excitable, don't they, kids? Anyway, let's uh, just put that back there. So, yeah, um, I think I'll maybe put a bit of ground bait out there, probably kill it anyway, but I can go down to the right, maybe to the left. Oh, that's a bite. <laughs> Shut up, Dan. And, yay. Well, it just goes to show that I put that ball in a second ago and uh, we've had a bite. Not a very big one, this one. In fact, I think it's the smallest one of the day. But we put two or three balls out down there and just see if it brings anything in while we mess around. Down the sides. It's always more exciting down the sides, isn't it? Okay. Oh, he's unhooked himself, look. Maybe a pound or so. 
and put two balls out, two big balls out on the far line. I'm just going to put the usual smallish ball down here. And that should do that. Another one to the left. Again, a few pellets, just one or two bits of corn. And we put a slightly larger ball down this side. I don't seem to be getting any down there, so it can't hurt, can it? There we go. Okay, well. <laughs> now the owner's just coming down. I'm not sure we're going to get much more out of this one today. I've just had to set the young fella up again. And uh, he's already lost one rig. So his dad's probably going to want to talk to me now. But I'll see if I can get one in down here before we do that. But the fish are starting to move now a bit, aren't they? And, uh, well, we're not actually getting anything anymore down there, but it's, uh, it's getting a bit busy with people down here at the moment, so we may have to call it quits fairly soon. Oh, and we go. There's obviously fish still down there. Oh, hello, mate. <laughs> yeah, we've just been getting your, your son set up. Okay. He, uh, you. No, it's no problem. He cast in really well over there, and... Uh, then got stuck on a snag. Oh, this will be a carp. Well, turning to Piccadilly Junction here today. We've got the young fella down, his dad's just come down. We've now had somebody coming in for a chat, which is fine, but when you're fishing right in the margins here, it's not so good. But we'll see if we can get another one, and then I think we might call it quits at that. Well, folks, um, as I say, it's uh, been a bit busy here this last uh, 15 minutes or so. Um, I think I've done enough to prove that uh, chilli powder does work for carp, and it may actually work quite well. Does it work any better than turmeric? Well. I can't say that it does or it doesn't based on just one quick go like that, but definitely it does work. Would I continue to use it? Well, possibly. I think the biggest thing for me is the fact that it's the, the stinging and the, the, you know, if you get it on your hands or whatever, it, it literally just coats them and so on. So, yeah, I think the answer is chilli works. Um, give it a go by all means. I know um, carp specimen anglers use um, things like chilli hemp, so feel free to give that a go as well. And... Uh, in a few weeks' time, we'll try a different uh, spice from the Indian cuisine range and see how we go. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, click the like button. If you want to subscribe, feel free. And until the next time, bye for now.